morning. Good morning. Today is the 13th of February, 2014. We're working on angles and triangles. Um, we've identified um, acute, as you can see here, um, right, obtuse, scalene, equilateral, um, isosceles. We've talked about the triangle sum theorem. We've done a couple of problems, and we're going to do two in this one quick little video here. Um, number 11 wants you to find all three angle measures. Obviously, you're showing work because you're solving for variables. And number 12, you are solving um, that word problem. All right, somebody walk me through number 11. How are you solving this, showing you all of the steps necessary? Sharita, go for it. Um, well, 5x plus 3x plus 2x equals 180. And why do you know 5x plus 3x plus 2x equals 180? All the angles in the triangle have to add up to 180. All the angles in the triangle have to add up to 180. The triangle sum theorem states it correct, yeah. which you have in your notes. Okay, continue on. What is your next step? Um, combine our like terms. And what are the like terms you want to combine? 5x, 3x. And they're all they're all like terms. Yeah. Yep. So five x, three x, and two x are all like terms. That gives you what? Ten x. And you set that equal to. One eighty. One eighty. Good. Um. Then you divide by ten on both sides. Yep. That gives you x equals eighteen. Is that your answer? Um. No. Then you plug it into five x, three x, and two x. Good. So you solved and got x equals eighteen, but we have to plug it into two x, five x, and three x. So it says find the measure of all three angles. Can you give me the measure of all three angles, please? Um, 90, 54, and 36. So we've got 90 degrees, 5 times 18. We've got, what's the other one you said? 54. 54 degrees. And 36 degrees. Because we did 3 times x, and then 2 times x, 2 times 18, gives you 36 degrees. Is there an order that matters here, you guys? Does it matter what order you put these in here in the box? No. Doesn't matter. I just ask for all three angles, I get all three angles. Now, does this look like a right angle up here? No. Not really, but do you have to trust the words before the picture? Yeah. Yes or no? Yeah. Yes, trust the words before the picture. So if it doesn't look like it, don't worry. Be confident in your math abilities. Question, Zachariah. What if the picture has the box? Say again? Well, the picture doesn't have the box. If it did, then you would trust the picture because it's a 90 degree angle. But it's not there. So yeah, if it has the box, you know it's 90 degrees. The right angle box. All right, uh, number 12, how are we doing this one? What do you got? Anybody want to help? No hands. Jenna. OK, so I set up my problem using algebraically, and then I made x equal the first one. Oh, and then I made x equal the first Oh, beautiful. So it says the second angle in a triangle is three times larger than the first. In order for us to figure out the second angle, we need to know what the first is. And it doesn't give us any numbers, so we're just going to call it x. first angle equals x. I love it. So then because we know that the first angle is x, what are you going to call the second angle, Jenna? Um, 3x. And uh, why do you think it's 3x again? Because, because it's three times larger than the first. So if we know the first is x, we know the second is going to be 3x and it's going to be three times bigger. All we need to do is figure out the third angle. And Jenna, how would we do that? Okay, so let's stop right there. If the second angle is 3x and the third angle is one third as large, let's just call it one third of the second angle, which is 3x. Okay. And because you're so smart, Jenna, you know right away that one third of 3x is x, because one third times 3x gives you x. Everybody see how she did that? Yeah. Okay, so we've got x. So now, Jenna, we're ready to solve for our three angles. And how would we do so? And we're going to say x, which is the first angle, plus 3x, which is the second angle, plus x, which is the third angle, is equal to 180. why? Because all triangles add up to 180. All triangles add up to 180 because of the triangle sum theorem. And continue on. Combine like terms and you get? 5x equals 180. Beautiful. And then you divide it all by 5x and it equals 36. All right, so what is the answer to the problem then? Um, we want to know the angles, or the measure of all three angles. So the first one is 36 So we know the first one is 36 degrees. The third is 36 degrees. And the second is 108 degrees. 
108 degrees is the second. So your answer is really what should be boxed, correct? And if I continued forth and said, Jenna, what kind of triangle is this? You would say? It's an isosceles triangle because we have two angle measurements the same. Therefore, we're going to have two sides the same. Questions on those two problems?